Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix all kind of Windows update error problem in Windows 11 or Windows 10. So this will be fixing all kind of update problem. So if you're getting any kind of error message or update fails, so everything will be resolved. The first thing that I would recommend you that please go ahead and run the update troubleshooter that will be helping you to find out the problem and sometime even it automatically fix the problem. So click on your Windows search, type troubleshoot, then click on troubleshoot setting from the suggestion. Now here you have to click on other troubleshooters and here you will find Windows update. So click on run and the detecting problem will be started and this will start detecting and let you know that what exactly the problem is. So now you can see that it says resolving problem. So probably it's trying to resolve the problem. So kindly wait and I'm very sure that this will be resolving your problem. And if not, then we can move with the next step. Right click on the windows icon, then click on settings. Then you have to look for the storage option. Click on storage. You can also search in the settings. Now in the storage option, you make sure that the storage sense option has been enabled. And then you have to click on temporary files and here you will find windows update cleanup just check this option delivery optimization file check this option and you can also clear your download and recycle bin if you don't need it you also need to make sure that you have enough space on your drive so that update can be completed all right so we also need to make some space empty on your drive so it's better that you select your download and the recycle bin and then you have to click on remove files then click on continue and this will be just purging and deleting all kind of temporary files once it's been done close it again click on your windows search type services click on services app now here you have to look for windows update service so just press w so that you can come to the w section and then you have to look for windows update once you get it, double click on it. Now you have to make sure the startup type has been set to automatic and the status should be running. And if it's not running, then you have to click on start. And if it's already running, then click on stop and then start again. Now click apply and then click on OK. Next, you need to open your file explorer. Then from the left in menu option, click on this PC then click on local disk C then go to Windows folder double click on it and here you have to look for a folder by the name software distribution so scroll down until you find software distribution double click on it now here you have to delete all these files so these are the remaining file of the update that may create some problems so it's better that you select them all by pressing the Ctrl A and then just delete it by pressing the delete key. Once done, you can close it. Now, finally, we are remaining with the last step that is the most important part that will not only fix your Windows update, but many other Windows corrupted files. So click on your Windows search, type CMD, right click on the command prompt and choose run as administrator. The black window will be coming up. And now here you have to run a few commands that you will find in the description. So you can just copy them from the description one by one. Come to the black window again, make a right click and it will be automatically pasted. Hit on enter. Then you have to copy the next command. Come back to the black window, right click and paste it. Then hit enter. Now this command may take some time, so you just have to keep some patience until this is 100% completed. And after that, you have to run the third command. And that also can take some time. And then finally, you have to copy this command and paste in the black window. And once everything has been completed, then you have to restart your PC, restart your modem and check back again. I'm pretty sure all kind of Windows update problem will be fixed on your Windows 10 or Windows 11. So hopefully guys this powerful solution will surely work for you and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe or any question let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye